Hey everybody, how's it going? I have had a bunch of people asking me in streams and in comments and even in some emails uh, to share my thoughts about the news about former President Jimmy Carter uh, receiving hospice care and seemingly to be in the end stages of his life. Uh, incredibly long life. Uh, longest lived former president uh, in terms of the age that he's been able to achieve. Uh, so amazing just from that standpoint to be 98 years old. I think a lot of people were hoping, myself included, he would get to be 100. Uh, that does not appear to be the case. And, and coming from a family that just went through this process, I know how very quickly it can sometimes move. Um, my grandfather, who really for all intents and purposes was my father, uh, he was the man who raised me. Um, we lost him at the end of December. And it was Sunday morning when we got the call that he, he had just gone back into the hospital. He'd been in and out of the hospital. And it was Sunday morning we got the call that he had decided he didn't want to have any further treatment and just wanted to be able to be allowed to die, which is a decision that people often get to in their lives. And I think we should honor that when possible and when appropriate, uh, especially in a situation like my grandfather or like Jimmy Carter's where they've lived a very full life and they're dealing with recurring illnesses that just don't seem to get any better and, and they're just ready to to go and a guy like jimmy carter who just as i do i know has very strong faith uh as a christian and has no doubt whatsoever where he's headed uh and knows that 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 heaven is our real home uh as we believe as christians uh then i totally understand why he feels that way and he's ready uh, so with that in mind, um, I know in my grandfather's case, it was Sunday when he made that decision. It was Thursday morning that he passed. So I know how quickly sometimes this is, can go and other times maybe not. And a guy like Jimmy Carter, who is, boy, the guy is strong, if nothing else, right? So what are my thoughts about it? Well, my thoughts have absolutely nothing to do with his presidency. He was president when I was born. I'm 45 years old now. And he was president when I was born. So there's always a unique connection I will have to him. Uh, apart from all of the other presidents, because he was the president when I came into this world. Um, but as many of you have often heard me say, uh, I'm not sure we've ever had a better person who has filled the office of president. And by person, I just mean in terms of the kind of character they have. Ulysses Grant would be right up there with me, and there have been others as well. Um, his politics, to me, are irrelevant uh, his presidency to me is irrelevant because I am much more concerned with the kind of person that he was. And his post-presidency might be the best we've ever had. I don't know if we've ever had a better post-presidency among anybody. The guy won a Nobel Prize after he left office. Uh, I think it was in 2002 uh, for his work with Habitat for Humanity, with his work with trying to bring peace, bring peace to the Middle East and all the many things. The guy's Habitat for Humanity stuff, man. The guy was like 95 years old and he fell and got stitches and had a huge bruise on his face and he was right back out there working for Habitat for Humanity. 95 years old. Any 95-year-old would be perfectly justified in saying, you know what, I've done my part. Let somebody else do it now. But no, he believed in that. And he believed that in order to show support for it, he had to be out there building homes for other people. And that is phenomenal. Um, taught Sunday school right up to the end of his life. Uh, just continued to be involved in things. Loved to hunt and fish and um, loved the, the outdoors and was like, I think he did some painting and things like that, much like George W. Bush does. And just was active for his whole life, man. And just amazing to me. And so for me, that's Jimmy Carter's legacy. Jimmy Carter's legacy is showing us what a life post-presidency. You know, a lot of people say, okay, I've been president. That's like the peak of achievement, right? Everything from here is downhill. No, not Jimmy Carter, man. Jimmy Carter's impact uh, continued for 45 more years, right, after presidency. Uh, so good for him. Uh, maybe not 45 years, a little less than that. But, um, man, first-class human being. The world is a better place with James Earl Carter in it. And I, for one, am going to be very, very sad. Uh, to see him not here anymore, but also as a Christian, as a fellow believer, I will be celebrating for him because I know he will be healed and never have to worry about sickness or death or disease or, or sadness ever again. 
Um, so that for me is the legacy. It's, it's the legacy of what he did with his life after he was president. Amazing human being. May we all learn a lesson from Jimmy Carter about how to be a better person.